And I want to tell you, it doesn't matter if it's politically right or left. It doesn't matter if it's religious or secular. We have to have a change of heart. Nobody does. And there is no one that can change our heart other than Yeshua. He is the light of the world. And if not, there's darkness in there. It can be religious darkness or it can be secular darkness. It can be condemnation or it can be condemning yourself. Look what he's saying. Now, let's, let's hear this. Now, don't think about somebody else right now. Think about you. Let's bring it home a little bit. You know. Have you been involved in sexual sin? Not all sexual sin is physical. Some sexual sin is video, pornography. Have you been involved in something? He said, Jesus is saying, look, I'm not condemning you. It's hurting you. Don't do it anymore. Come on, get out of it. Don't feel condemned. Don't get stuck in this. This is what a lot of people do, and this is what happens to a lot of women in the sex creed. They get stuck in this loop. Well, I'm no good. I've already blown it. I'm a piece of trash, so I might as well just go back to it again. And Jesus says, no, no, that's not who you are. You're my son. You're my daughter. Here, let me help you out of here. Let, let me give you life and light into your life. Let me help you out of here. You're not a piece of trash. Don't condemn yourself, and don't let anybody else condemn you. I'm not, he said, I'm not here for condemnation. God is not here for condemnation. And we're not here for condemnation. We are here to help people and to give them hope. Just to tell people that they're sinning and don't give them a way to get out of sin isn't doing them any good. But he said, now here's the trick. He's not condoning sin. He's not condemning it. Condoning and saying, well, you know, I understand. You know, just go on. It's just the way it is. No, no, he's not saying that. He's saying, I don't condemn you and I don't condone it. I love you and I want to help you get out of this. There's a way out and I can help you. And that's why people like you and people like my daughter and others are reaching out to people and saying, look, we want to help you out of this. It's not, we're not here to condemn you. We want to give you a way out because we love you and we care. There's, no, there's not an ounce of condemnation in our voice and in our hearts, but we're saying stop doing what's destroying your life and destroying those around you. Don't do it anymore. Come on, we've got a solution for you. But you've got to have a solution for someone. Just to tell them not to do it is not the way to come out. And Yeshua said, I have the light. I have the power. I have the righteousness. I have the spirit. I have the way to give you the positive energy, as our young people say, to get out of this situation. And then he said to the religious people, he said, why are you just condemning people all the time? Why do you want to throw stones? Okay, our people don't throw stones physically. Not yet. It may happen. So are you just condemning people all the time? They're no good. They're no good. They're no good. Uh, is that just our religious leaders? No, is it? We all got that little guy with the stone on the inside. And you're looking around. Everybody else. Do you ever feel that tendency? You know what it's... I, I, is it, it's not just in me, is it? No, it's in... I, it's that little, that little guy in there that's got the stone that's looking at everyone around you. He's no good. He's no good. He's no, I'm better than everybody else. I'm righteous. Everybody else is wrong. No, that's just... You think that's faith? That's just complaining. That's just condemnation. Hey, guys, cut it out. Cut it out right now in your life. Got any husbands and wives turn to one another and say, no, no. Uh, if you, uh, it's just, uh, if it's, uh, not everybody. You know, we can, it's easy to see that somebody else is wrong. In our family, I'm always wrong, but that's a different, that's a different family. But, but we can't just, there's something in us as believers. Listen, we have to watch out for that. This is what this example of the religious people, well, we're religious too in that sense. It's almost like the, it's a little embarrassing, isn't it? But the more we're believers, I'm so mature in the faith. I've been walking with the Lord for so long. I know all of the Bible verses that I know what's wrong with everybody. <laughs> and you just live in this world. It's all negative, you know? It's just they're no good, they're no good, and they're no good. And, and, and Jesus says, yeah, what about you? You know, maybe instead of looking at what's wrong with everybody else, we need to say, hey, what do I need to change? You know, and put the stone down. Drop the stone, folks. Drop the stone and say what's, what we have to have personal righteousness. And this is where we're stuck. Now, here, I want to bring it to an end here. And this is what we want to say to our people. Let me just summarize that, and then we'll conclude it. Two more minutes here. The gospel of righteousness, first of all, is equal to men and women. No difference. We don't, we don't condemn women and let the men go free. Come on. 
It, we don't condemn people. We love people. We're giving them grace. But we don't condone sin. We don't say it's okay. We've got to say sin is wrong. And it's also not self-righteousness. Self-righteousness is just as much a sin as sexual immorality. We've got to cut that out. We don't condone sin. We don't condemn people. And we don't walk in self-righteousness. But we have to have personal change right now. Personal change. And that change only comes through Yeshua. And we walk in that place of the balance of grace and judgment. We walk in that place of perfect righteousness. And Yeshua is the only solution. He is the light. And this is what we want to say in your life, in your nation, in our nation, in our people. There's only one way out of this. We're stuck politically. We're stuck religiously. It's not going to work. And the whole world is that way. Look at what's going on in Hong Kong. Look at what's going on in, in Iran. Look at what's going on in Europe. Look what's going on in, in America, in Britain. Every, there's, we're stuck between. We got the beast on one side and the, and the harlot on the other side. We, either got, we got violence on one side that wants to kill people and we want to get sexual perversion on the other side. It's not going to work, folks. But we have to have the example of love and light and purity and that only comes through Yeshua. And I want to pray this for you. And I also want you to pray this for our nation. Because our nation, with so much zeal, our nation is so zealous, but we're just crashing into one another. And the answer for our people, like it is for every people, is Yeshua said, I'm the light. I'm the way out of this. The way out of religious condemnation on the one side and the, out, the way out of sexual perversion on the other side and the way out of social corruption. You've got to have your heart changed. Any political system won't work if the people's hearts are corrupt. And any political system will work if people's hearts are right. In any way it will work out. In any business, in any religious group, in any, if people's hearts are right, it will work out. And there's only one person that can change our hearts, and it's Yeshua. Hallelujah.